Hello everyone, welcome back to Gachero Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Son of Sons of the Forest is having screen flickering issue and many of the users are having this issue and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into it without any wasting time. So the first one is all about we have to enable the vSync in the control panel. For that we have to go over here in the desktop, right click, go to show more options, go to NVIDIA control panel. Now once you click on this, just wait for a few seconds until it's get loaded up. Navigate to manage 3D settings over here, then go to program setting and from here you have to check whether this game is already added. So as you can see, right now uh, it is not which it is atomic heart. So I have to add the game that is in my case I have to add sons of the forest which is I have to add myself. So click on the add button. Now from here we have to scroll down over here and as you can see the son of the forest is there so just click on this one and add it so once it is added so as you can see it is successfully added here now you just have to scroll down and navigate to vertical sync over here as you can see now we have to click on this one right now this has been used 3d setting so what i have to do is i just have to turn this on once you turn this on go for apply and go for ok then you are fine with us this is what you have to do once applied with this just close everything I mean you have to close everything go back to the game try to play it and see whether it's going to fix the issue or not next one is all about we have to update the drivers for that we just have to go over here in the search right click and go to task manager from here we have to sorry not task manager we have to click on start go to device manager go to display adapters click on the respective graphics card of your computer right click and go to update driver Click on search automatically for drivers and make sure this is up to date. This is what you have to do. Okay. Once it is done, go back to the game. Try. If it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about. We have to close unnecessary background task, which is running in the background. For that reason, we have to go over here in the start. Right click. Go to task manager. Right now, as you can see, there are many things which is running in the background. But over here, as you can see, few things which, has, which I'm use, actually using. But apart from that, there are 76 apps which is draining out my lot of performance so I have to end it one by one. So over here as you can see if I scroll down and navigate to this I can see that there are some things like you know Discord, Parsec, RivaTuner etc which is draining out a lot of performance of mine. So I have to select the respective one and I have to end the task for it. That is what I have to do. So if you don't know how to end it task just scroll down and navigate one of the uh, thing which is draining out your performance select it click on end task and once it is done just close everything, go back to the game and try to play it. And if it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. For that reason, we have to go over here in the game, right click and go to properties, go to local file, click on verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time. But keep in mind, this particular step is going to work for you as well because if any files are corrupted, and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So that is why we are recommending you, you can try verify integrity of game file which is definitely going to work for you as well. So this is an important step so you have to try it from your side. So once this is 100% is being set you have to go over here and try to play the game and that is going to work as well. So let this get complete so I will move to the next step. Next step is we have to update our windows. For that reason we have to go over here in the search go to settings. Go to windows update at bottom left. Now from here we have to click on this one download and install. After this, once your install is successfully done, you just have to close everything and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. So even after trying all these things, if it's still not working, next one is we have to make sure that the game is up to date. So if the game is not up to date, then definitely you will be having some issues. So every update fixes a lot of bugs. So you have to definitely try for this. So right now, as you can see, the cloud status is up to date, but for some users, they end up in in issue so they just have to make sure just go over here in the game right click go to properties go to updates and always keep this automatic update you have to click over here so we are having three options that is always keep this game updated only update this game when i launch it and high priority so always keep this game updated should be selected and this is what it's going to be so it will be up to date all the time and this is what you have to try out and this is definitely going to work as well next one is all about we have to try with some of the uh, power options and I don't know how this is related but this did work for some users. So go over here in the control panel we have to search for control panel. Now from here what we have to do is we just have to 
make sure over here just change this to category and now from here you just have to click on hardware and sound just click on this one hardware and sound now go to power options and over here as you can see make sure this being set into high performance if it's not there you have to set this to high performance and once you're successfully done with this just close everything restart your pc and once your restart is successfully done you just have to go back to the steam then try to play the game and that is going to work as well so these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out and i hope this video is helpful and if you have any doubts do ask in the comment section so we will get back to you see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye